Matri Namaha. Many of us have a feeling that on such and such dates, if we recite Lalita Sarasunamam, it is very powerful. They wait for the days, they search on internet, they read in books, thinking that this is the auspicious day, this is the powerful day to recite Lalita Sarasunamam, Sotram. Not only that, even for Vishnu Sarasunamam, it's good to recite on a Tuesday or a Friday. So if you see all this logic or a theory, there's no truth in it because number one, a stotra should have a feeling that's told in Sanskrit as arti. That means it should come from here. So the right time for reciting a stotram, any stotram, is whenever you have the feeling coming from here. Janma mṛtta jara tapta jana vishrāndhidāyini You should feel tired of this life of death, then again life, then death. This janana marana chakra should tire you. And the tapta word should be recited only when you feel that. Otherwise, this will be working. So, thinking in that way, any time is better, provided you have the focus and you have love, dedication, adoration, craving for mother. Not in a monotonous way, not in a ritualist way or scheduled time. There's nothing like that. In Telugu, they say, Sarvakala sarvavastalayandu patimpadagnide mantram. Which means, whatever state of existence, whatever state you are, in the puja room, in the living room, forgive me, even in the bathroom, if you feel like reciting Lalita Sastavam, you should understand, as per the one of the lines in Lalita Sastavam, Amatir medhasratis pratirandama. Amatir. He says, my child, don't think that you are getting the thoughts. I am before the thought. So all the thoughts I am giving. When to recite, where to recite, how to recite also. Even if you are a pundit, I can twist your tongue and make you say a wrong thing. It's me. It's playing the game behind. If you understand that logic, sarvavastha, sarvakala, any time you can recite, don't say it's good to recite in the evening time because we may die in the afternoon. That fear should be there. Who is guaranteeing that you will be living till evening? This moment, there's a book called Now. Now. This moment, this avastha, this position, this state of mind, then you recite. Having said that, one more point should be observed. Jiva, particularly the human being, is supported by nature. And the nature, different pockets of energy are there. And that energy actually you get connected and you call that one energy as Saraswati for education, Lakshmi for wealth, Ganapati for focus. These are our energies. But these all these energies are controlled by one supreme source called Parashikti Parabrahma. That nobody can deny. But these are all Shaktis. And they support us on a daily basis in the nature. And these energies are very active in certain time, in certain days. And they are controlled by what is called Nitya Devata. Kameshwari Bhagamalni Nitya Klinne Bhirunde Bhaktivadri. You see that in Kangamara. Fifteen Nityas are there. And they are the ruling energies 
for the supporting energy. So, on the day after new moon or full moon day, Pajyami, Pratama, Kami, Shwari, and the Bijaksha of the Kami Shwari is Ka, Bhagavan Li, E, Nityaklin Ne, E, I think you know where I am coming from. Ka, E, E, La, Khrim, Ha, Za, Ka, Ha, La, Khrim, Sa, Ka, La, Khrim, these are the 15 syllables. In that, Ka denotes Purusha, male power. It's Ahankara. The ego. Everybody has a, got ego. Ego is not high handed. I am doing, like I am speaking on the YouTube. That feeling itself is ego. I am the doer, is the ego. Everybody will have that. So that is Ka. Not that supporting energy. So, if you distribute that, one is male, one is female, one is neutral, that's a different subject all day. But the cream is what I'm interested in. Cream, hakara, rakara, ikara, in that ha stands for male, e stands for female, ra stands for knowledge, fire, chaitanya, bubbling energy. So the cream on which day it falls, you have the union of the male and female energy which gives you fire-like knowledge and fire-like chaitanya. Let us see how the tithis are distributed. Ka e e la reem. First ka is on the first day, Padyami. E, second day, Dvitiya. E, Tritiya, La, Chaturdi, Hrim, Panchami. So Panchami, you have support from the nature. It will be nice if you recite more than once. All the days you should recite. Don't recite only on Panchami. All the days you recite Lalita Sahasram one time. But on Panchami day, you recite more number of time because you are going to get support from Hrinkara. Friend. Ha sa ka ha la hrim ekadasi. Sa ka la hrim pornami aramavas. So if you see that panchami, dashami also good, ekadasi, pornami aramavas. These five tithis, you get more supporting nature which helps you to focus, stability, and moving away from the desire. So, better to recite on Panchami, Dashami, Ekadasi, Ornavi, Amavasya. More than usual. Any Stotram, not only Lalita Sasana, also, once in a while, if you want to get more energy. Don't expect any external results. Internal, everything happens internal. If you want to feel more energy, then you need to go to Kshetra, like a temple or like a holy place like Tirupati, Kanchipuram, Tiruvannamalai, Sri Shailam, Varanasi and spend more time to recite many number of times this Totra. So that the Vishwakundali in that place will assist you with more divine energy. So Tidhi is also important, play is also important. More than that, your state of mind is more important. You should have Aarti, like I told, craving for mother. So let us not fix any auspicious state. Anytime you have all these things, that is an auspicious state. Sri Matranama. 